everyone welcome back to another xo zeros video today's video we're going to go over fc valar's new fate core and i'll showcase you guys fc Jinai, the red faker that i actually just got today but before that if you would updated xo's heroes videos please hit the subscribe button down below okay guys so here is the new black fate core of valar i'm actually kind of happy he got a a new fate core i actually thought initially that they would core reverse her existing uh what they call this existing fate core but i guess this is what they put out and i think uh, this would do good for now so september 30th which is today after the maintenance up to october 7th we'll be able to pull for this fate core you can obtain the hero plus fate core with a higher chance than in the premium recruit okay so as you can see i actually actually like the fencing type outfit that he has and uh, artwork still very good on par with what the uh, exos heroes usually puts out and let's take a look at the additions for the stats for the fate core so Attack is going to be 22, defense 45, health 216, and combat power additional 9,000. So let's take a look at the skills, guys. So as for his passive, he has thrust 3. So deals to the attacker upon damage, taking 30% damage. Afflicts the attacker with stun for 5 to 12 turns based on, a, on earned current health when the attack hits. Gains mana if health of target is at 80% or more and removes one mana from the target. And then gains mana to self if health of target is at 30% or less. The usual thrust. Next is actually his passive is Executioner. Grants additional effects if under the effect of command. So take note, he has to have the command um, effect to be able to dish out Executioner. Um, this is depending on the state of the target that was struck by the skill so he has to be struck uh, the target the enemy should be struck by sk the skill for executioner to take effect next passive is going to be impact decreases attack of all other targets with execution with execu executioner mark by 20 percent if the target mark with executioner dies so if there are multiple targets with executioner and one dies the rest um decreases their attack okay so next is separate goals it's a mark if there are three or more living enemies at the start of the round after the first round increases own attack defense and maximum health by 25 percent and can be stacked up to two times which is actually good the last passive that he has is overpower so it's a buff if an enemy with executioner mark has less current health than self decreases the target's attack by 15 percent of own current health for seven turns at the start of the round so he actually is a very good counter to a lot of heroes that um, um needs their attack to be up so again um basically valar he he's going to decrease not really permanently but for the moment uh, if they have executioner, then their attack is decreased by a certain percentage. Okay, so S1 is going to be bloody evil slasher. So it's a, a it's a skill with a required man of three. It only hits the back row, so deals two ten damage to all back row enemies. Then deals out uh, deals uh, executioner applies gain two mana to all allies if the target dies after. Afflicts Executioner Mark to the target if target survives. Okay, so more or less, this is his S1. Then for his S2, which is pretty much stacked, it's Execution Day, so required mana is 4. Deals 750 damage to one enemy. Applies gain mana to all allies if the target dies. So it's actually a gain of 2 mana, same as his S1, which is actually uh, big and afflicts executioner mark to the target if the target survives okay then the first one is the dealing to all back row this one is to 
any single target. Um, it gives a status effect, afflicts all enemies with silence for five turns if the target dies. Which is actually good. He will serve basically as a finisher in terms of in terms of who is um, easy to kill. And a debuff decreases attack of enemies with nullify heal effect by 10% for 5 turns if the target dies as well. So again, if I remember um, his other fate core, this one, the S2, is actually very, very good versus his older fate core. The the female, the, the girl version of Valar. So I think this this black fate core has some potential in terms of being used in pvp um together with wasted red um i would probably you know um summon for valar probably um next week um it would depend on which black fa uh, gold fate core would be coming next so i'm probably i'm actually saving my zest now and I'll probably try him out. Hopefully, I could probably summon him um, again next week. And if I do that, I'll be showcasing that summon session. So, Black Wolf Valar, Fate Core grade is black. So, he's a he has a Fate Core chance up of 0.7%. And his recruitment mileages is only at 19. Okay. So, in terms of his special weapon, it's called... Haspelia, which actually looks cool. Um, even though it looks cool, I won't actually recommend this weapon. So it also gives an attack of 30%. But again, I'm not sure if, um, you know, again, he's a, he's a uh, Black Fate core. And unless you are really a fan of Alar, you can actually get you can actually avail of his uh, you could try to avail of his uh, exclusive weapon but for me i would suggest that you save up your zest for fate course not for exclusive weapons and his and the ability to obtain this is also same as the fate core at 0.7 percent and 19 core mileages as well so what are my thoughts on valar i think the redesign for the black fate core is actually good very very interesting very very nice um detail in terms of the character design um i think he has a shot in you know in the roster in my roster for wasted red um i still have to play test him but he has potential at first glance in terms of uh, the improvements and this version of his fate core rather than the previous one so um my final thoughts on valar is if you have the extra zest to get for Valar, and if you're into Wasted Red like I do, um, you can actually summon for him, especially if you want, you will be using him in PvP. Uh, especially in, in the beginner up to the mid stages of a player, actually he is kind of viable for PvP if this is a skip. Um, for those who are advanced, um, and if especially if you're not really into Valar, uh, sorry, into Wasted Red, then you can skip this banner um you know um because again uh i don't think he will make it yet to the top tiers of pvp um but he definitely has some potential okay so that is it for valar let's go guys to my my what do you call this uh, my showcase for fc uh janai so we have his fate core ready just got her today and my emulator is very slow <laughs> okay sorry so here is um the young version of janai so i got her so kind of different um in terms of the eyes um these are more more sultry than this one this is more of a very young janai i haven't I haven't really um, changed um, the color of her of her of her, of her what they call this of her dress here because actually I like it as is. So let's take a look at how she looks in terms of uh, her stance and uh, in terms of her appearance effect. 
in terms when you summon her the animations are actually nice and there's a certain there's a certain pose that i like about her so let's have a skill preview for her basic attack so it's actually the same a different color for the the energy that she shoots out but for her s1 this is actually kind of different very refreshing like that look and she actually throws a flower <laughs> so again s1 is actually good as a revision to what she has now so this is actually for me kind of better um from the previous incarnations of her animations for s1 um let's take a look at uh... <laughs> sorry for that um, let's take a look at her S2. So her S2, the opening is actually still the same. But this is a pretty much very younger version of Junai. So, so same except for the last part. So oh nice play with a uh, nice uh, um, play with the colors. This is actually yellow uh, the flames versus green the last time. So again, yellow for somebody who's young and flowers okay so again there you see it guys i'm actually happy with uh, with um her design how she looks how she does her moves and her new animation so i like i really like this s1 better than the previous one so anyway guys so hope you also get your um red fc Genai soon probably tomorrow for some some already got theirs also today but again hope that you get um this red fate core before the time expires i think we have a week to go so that is still a long time to grind for this red fate core anyway guys thank you so much for staying this far in this video also please consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot don't forget to click the bell icon and also don't forget to put a like to this video. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.